Hi, welcome to Rovers Chat. The morning after a great win at the Den as Rovers come back from 1-0 down to beat Millwall 2-1 in the pulsating match. Uh, Mark did the review of the game last night, so make sure you check that out. But these are the player ratings on whoscored.com. Not sure I agree with mo some of them, but most of them I do, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first one's uh, Volstead, obviously. I mean, he got a 6.1, I agree with it, but the elephant in the room is, yes, he did make an error for that first goal. Um, I'll break this down in the pod next week, but let's give him a little bit of leeway. It was close in the centre of the goal. He had to react quite quickly, uh, low down to his feet, and Hyam was really belting in towards him, which may have affected him on that. So, I mean, that could be goalkeeper's union, me trying to defend him a little bit there. But that being said, he's a professional keeper. He should be doing better with that one. Um, after that, though, he, he did look a bit ropey in the first half. Uh, a few crosses which were right underneath him, unchallenged, and he's not catching them. He's doing a few punches. There was a couple he did punch, and he did the right thing to probably punch them. But he was much better in that second half, coming out of his area, making some decent saves. Uh, real good fundamentals, but I love the fact he was commanding on his area after that first um, first few minutes of the game, coming out, doing what you know Pears has, has done and given the ball straight back, but he did it with a lot more commanding. So yeah, 6.1 probably about right. James Hill, he got a 7.4, I'd give him an 8 because what a player he is. I said in pre-season that our team was not big enough and strong enough and along come Hill and you could just tell he was strong at the back, great going forward. What vision for the assist. I was really impressed with him again and long may it last because there was times where he was just putting his body in the way of, defender, uh, of their defenders when he was attacking to stop the counter-attacks and it, it was brilliant. Stopped them you know, in their tracks. Just showed his strength. I really liked him. Uh, Carter, 6.6. .6. Yeah, I probably agree with that. <clears throat> Wonderful blocks at times. Um, he was commanding when he needed to be and put his body on the line. Um, I, I don't think he actually did much, you know, out of the ordinary. But there was no mistakes and it was a strong performance. There was a few coming across the area. He got his foot in the way, gave away a corner, but it was the right thing to do. Really impressed uh, with him, but like I said, nothing out of the ordinary. Same with Heim for the first half. He, he obviously came off at half-time, 6.5 rating. He came off. He did look a little bit lumbered in that first half. You could tell he wasn't quite right and he was carrying something. But I think we actually missed him in that second half, his calm presence. I hope his injury is not too bad because, I mean, we'll get to Scott Walton later on, but when he when he does come off, you can just tell that passing around at the back, it, it's not quite as calm as what it could be. Uh, Pickering, he got a 7.2, agree, had one of his better games. Uh, he had to cope with a very good player in that Norton Cuffey. He, that player really did impress me, to be fair. Um, he had a couple of chances as well uh, going forwards. When he attacked, he seemed to have good ideas and seemed to be linking it well, but it was that really good defensive performance because it, it was a tough game for him uh, against that, and he did really well, but... I said I worried about left, you know, left back at times, but last night, no, I, I was really happy with that, um, and I think he made a cracking tackle in the first half as well, coming back, um, and it would have been a certain shot and goal, and he also did a bit of quick thinking himself to get a little shot, but brought a good save out of the keeper. Uh, on to midfield with Tronstad, six point seven. Yeah, it's probably about right. He was a solid player, solid again. You know, we can't ask for much more from him. A couple of times the ref let him off a little bit, um, with a couple of moments on and off the ball. But once again, we win with him in, in the side. I thought he looked calm, and whether he's a calming influence for the other players, I just thought he did really well on that front. But you can see he's still settling in. But we're starting to see glimpses of the player that we thought we were getting, which is. You know, really good. But that leads us on to Sigurdsson, our other new player, and it was poor for Siggy last night. He got 5.9. I'd actually have him lower than that. Um, I wasn't surprised to see him come off at, at half time. He didn't seem to get anything going down the left. Um, he just wasn't at the races, in my opinion, and he seemed to not really link up with anyone very well. There was too many balls being placed into empty areas where he thought players were going to be. Uh, he seemed to be kind of guessing a little bit. and Maybe 
being away with Iceland and not being with the team, you know, he's not quite as tactically aware as the others coming back into it. But I'm not going to judge him too much on one performance because if you're going to have a bad day, you may as well have a bad day when you're winning 2-1 away and everyone else is firing. And that obviously brings us on to the next guy, which is JRC. He got a 7.9. I'd, I'd have him as an 8. <clears throat> We've said on the pod how important JRC has become to the team. And he continues this great run of form with another solid performance all over the pitch. OK, let's not kid ourselves. The goal was quite lucky. Uh, whether it was deflected or not, keepers should be doing better. I mean, the fans, once again, didn't know whether the ball had gone in because of where it was. Um, yeah, it, it's it's one of those where it, we can we can judge him on that finish, but actually the movement getting to the goal was really good. It was a lovely little link-up play as well. And not only that, when he was at the back, he was really strong and physical again. It, you know, it was... I saw I saw him get the um, gets a goal kick, getting his body in the way, and yeah, just really impressed once again. Uh, Schmodic six point four, yes, yeah, I agree with that. To be honest, um, the thing is with Sammy for me, he has these moments where he's he's got this top end class and moments where he's like League One class. And last night that balance wasn't there, but if he can get that balance right, he is one head of a player. He missed a couple of shots, but his movement was still good. Um, he looked, he, he just looks at home in that natural position of number 10 role. He had a lot of endeavour, but he just couldn't get that product at the end. And like I said, he wasn't linking up with Siggy that well. It was still a solid performance, but yeah, he's he, he wasn't quite himself. But that's because now we've got really high standards for him. And then on to Callum Britton, who they had him as man of the match with an, a, an 8 out of 10. And I agree. I, once again, we've discussed on the pod about how well you know he's, he's done on the right wing when he's played there. But he's really striking up a great partnership with Hill. And even though I said I'd like to see him at left back after last night, I'm really happy with him on the right wing. I'm, I'm being won over a little bit more. I mean, I did the QPR review and I said how well he did on the right wing. But it was kind of like a bit tongue in cheek about wanting to stay there, and actually, he's he seems to be earning that role. He, he was really well taken for his goal, you know, to cut in on his left foot and get that first goal. He needs to work on his celebration. <laughs> you can tell he's not used to celebrating, but that that goal was great, and then the assist was lovely as well. Like I said, that link up play was really good. And he's starting to find a lot of comfort in that position. He's going to give JDT a bit of a headache when Hedges is back. But if these performances keep up, then it's his position, to be honest, and he's got it locked down. But great performance. And then the final of the starters was Dolan with a 6.5. You've got to agree with the 6.5. There was a lot to ask of Ty last night in that centre-forward role against some really strong defenders. You know, you could tell he gave everything, and I love the yellow card he got. It was really intelligent play just to take him down at a time where Millwall were really pushing, and he just took his yellow cards, apologised to the ref, and it got everyone back. I love things like that. I thought that was really good play from him. Um, but he did look frustrated at times. It's not his role. Um, I, I'd love to ask him what his what he thinks his role should be at the moment because I think he doesn't necessarily know himself where he wants because where he wants to play and where he's going to get the availability to play is two separate things. But you can tell he's coming back into it. A little bit frustrated, uh, but you can tell he's coming back into it. Then on to the subs. Scott Warren came on at half time, got uh, 6.9. Yeah, it was, it was a tough one to rate this one. As a defender, he did really well coming on for Haim at half-time. Um, he still lacks that pass out from the back. My heart was in my mouth at times, and he seemed to play the wrong ball and lose it or put teammates under pressure. And I'm not sure whether he has that in him, to be honest. I mean, it's really strange when you look at his brother and then you look at him. They just don't, he, you know, he doesn't seem to be able to play that ball back. But his blocks and his tackles were brilliant and... He, you know, he has a role in the team, but I think that when he comes on, we can't ask him to make them passes. But six point nine is, um, is 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 probably about right for his defensive performance. Um, Moran, or he, yeah, he got six point six. I mean, he came on at half time for Siggy, and Siggy was right to come off, and he did so much better than Siggy. Um, in that second half, coming on at half time, he, he showed his usual forward play, lovely little skills, passing, linking up with everyone really well. Should he have taken his chance? I mean, I would have liked to have seen him really put his left foot through it, 
But then again, if he cuts inside and puts it in the corner, we're all saying it was a brilliant piece of play, but it was actually a good save from the goalkeeper, who I thought their keeper had a stormer of a game um, at times. He, he really kept the score down for them. Um, I think he came off Rennes later just because they didn't want to risk his injury because Millwall were pressing. But other than that, he had to go. You know, he had to go up against a quick Norton Cuffey, and he seemed to win that battle. So, yeah, it was a good one. Uh, Adam Orton coming on uh, for JRC he got six point two. He came on the seventy seventh minute. He got himself about, and you could see his class. But I think just JDT is just protecting him and slowing him down a little bit. And because of the form of JRC, he can do that, and that's why he's dropped to the bench. Um, it's hard to get into the game at this point, especially as the kind of player that Wharton is. Um, but he did his job. I mean, Millwall were pressing and at times he calmed it down and at times he made a couple of little blocks. Um, but yeah, he, he didn't have a hell of a lot to do. And speaking of not having anything to do, we're on to the last, uh, Ennis, who got a six. He only came on for a few minutes at the end. I'm not even sure he got to touch the ball. Uh, but I'm glad to see him on the pitch. I just want to see him starting that number nine now. Whether we drop Dolan and put Ennis in for a game, let, let's wait and see. Um, but there's there's nothing of note, really, for Ennis uh, last night. And I'm actually going to rate JDT uh, this week, uh, You know, rating the manager. I thought he got a solid 8 out of 10. I thought he got it right on and off the pitch. I liked the starting lineup. Um, I liked what we did. I liked the decisions, the subs. It all seemed to work. I think he got it spot on. And it was it's not an easy place to go. I know we won there last year. I know that um, they're not exactly a form side at the moment, but to go to all that way to get a 2-1 win, I think is brilliant. And that's it. So let us know down below your thoughts. Uh, have I got anything wrong? Have I missed anything? Put your comments in down below. Uh, any questions for the mailbag for the pod next week? But that being said, it's been a great week for being a Rovers fan. You know, the Dragons have been slayed, the Lions have been tamed, and now we're on to the Swans. So have a good one, Rovers fans, and we'll see you next time.